Hey guys, so I just decided to come on here really quick as you can see by the title to film a helpful video for you guys with regard to piercing. So if you're like me and you like to express yourself through different mediums such as piercings and stuff like that, you may have encountered the problem that a lot of us have encountered with regard to this nose piercing thing when you get that little bump <coughs> that just won't seem to go away so I'm gonna give you the steps that I followed to help you get rid of that in just a few days to a week and, and yeah so let's get started okay so the two products I used were two all natural products that you could find anywhere I would assume and those are one tea tree oil you don't, you're not gonna need too big of a bottle I have a, th a 30 ml bottle and also some natural sea salt that I got from when I got my piercing the tattoo shop gave this to me but um, I assume you could buy it as a pharmacy or a grocery and just buy um, a container of sea salt but I find it best and I trust the most to get my sea salt from my tattoo or piercing shop so I know that I'm getting the right kind of take the sea salt I have a plate here and put it into a small container you could probably use a shot glass, that would be the best option, but my shot glass broke. <laughs> put some sea salt into a container saturate that sea salt with um, tea tree oil then use your fingers or I would prefer you use a sterilized q-tip as um, the area is already infected and going through some things so <laughs> you can use a sterilized q-tip um, q-tips come sterilized sterilized you don't have to boil or steam your q-tips to get them to be sterile so you just use a regular q-tip and you um, kind of um, cover and saturate the area, the infected area, with the paste that you have just made. Um, I want to say to be careful um, with regard to the Q-tip, it will soak up some of the um, tea tree oil. So if there isn't enough in the container, you could just go back and get a little more tea tree oil and kind of dab it so, so that there is um, salt saturated with tea tree oil as this kind of paste on your face. Just kind of put enough to cover your bump and I would sleep with the mixture on my nose like this overnight and do that every night so now that I've shown you how I make the mixture I'm just gonna go through the process of getting your piercing to heal using the tea tree oil and sea salt mixture so what i would do is make this paste every night and place it on the infected area and sleep with that paste on my face um you'd have to kind of be careful how you sleep so that you don't just rub it off right away so i'd kind of try to stay conscious of um not um, having my face into pillows or anything or you could do at night before you go to bed like a, a few hours before you go to bed after you've taken your shower so that you could have it um, if you know you can't <laughs> sleep with it on your face kind of have it soaking in there for a maximum amount, amount of time before you go to bed In following the steps that I've outlined my piercing cleared up I've had this problem a few times so when it was its worst um, with like it was swollen very huge on my face it took about a week to clear up when I tell you it was big it was huge it was this it was another face it was another head I am not exaggerating but when it was swollen that big it took about a week to clear up with that method and then a few other times it was swollen but not as badly and it cleared up within a few days almost a week so a note i'd like to share with you about this method is if you have sensitive skin the salt mixture may begin to kind of burn your skin i don't think it should be too alarming because it's i mine burnt a bit but um i kind of still let it set in because i understand that i'm putting salt on a wound here it is going to be a bit uncomfortable but um if you have extra sensitive skin it may burn a little more and i realize that around the area the salt kind of burn my skin a bit so if that does happen to you you could try using less of the mixture because i put on a good amount you could try using less of the mixture and not not putting too much to kind of overwhelm the area 
but also try to if it does um burn a bit it is going to scab over mine scab over quite a few times you just don't pull at the scab <laughs> do not pull at the scab it may be tempting but do not remove the scab the piercing trust me is healing under that scab i would just continue to put on the mixture atop of this stuff atop of the scab and kind of um let it soak into the area still without picking at the scab and then throughout the day when you try to keep your face dry um it is healing and drying up underneath there so you don't have to worry about that but if it is um sorry i'd like you to use your discretion so if it is burning the area a bit too much for you you could try to use the mixture every other night instead so you don't overwhelm the area and in the um interim you could just put tea tree oil on the area and yeah or just use less of the mixture as i said before how would you know if it's healed with me, um, as I said, it's going to scab over and you don't want to pick up the scab. So at the end of the week, if you find that it's just really a scab, there's no real swelling. If the area was really um, a round bump and you just really see it like a scab beneath the scab, there is nothing there anymore. Um, I guess everyone is different. So yours may just kind of disappear without the scabbing. Maybe that's just my skin and how my skin handles healing. But in the event that you do get a scab, you don't want to pick at it for a while. Just kind of leave it, let it sit, let it dry up. And it will begin to kind of fall off at the end. So you would know when a scab is kind of ready to fall off. So then you could kind of remove it. And under the area, you would see there's no more bump. Um, the skin may be a little um, lighter in pigment than the rest of your skin and around the area may be um, a little dark like way at the area that surrounded the bump before don't worry about that that is going to go away just exfoliate your skin and you'll be fine I'll insert some pictures where you see after mine did the majority of healing it was a bit darker and right now you can't tell now I have tea tree oil on my face but you can't tell that there was anything there at all at all at all at this point so I'll insert some footage of my face now so you know um, you'll see the, the, the difference the contrast between how it was in the beginning and how it is now okay so you can see here nothing mm, not a no bump So I've been talking way too much about this very simple video so firstly tea tree oil and sea salt, sea salt paste clears up your piercing in about a week's time just be patient with your piercing don't pick at it just kind of continue the course of the application and your piercing will be completely fine completely clear in a matter of about seven days so I thank you for watching this video I hope it was helpful and like this video if it was helpful comment down below if you try anything if you try anything different if there are any other um, at home natural remedies that you have tried with regards to your piercings that have worked i'd be happy to hear and subscribe subscribe because you love me <sighs> okay enjoy the rest of your day guys bye